We've got a lot of connected gadgets here in the CNET smart home, but not all of them work together. That's where a service like IFT comes in handy. It's a free online tool that lets you automate pairs of web services or social networks or smart home devices. There's a growing number of these devices that work with IFT and let you craft recipes using the if this then that formula. If you apply that to the smart home, you can get your gadgets to start working out. One good example here is this set of Wemo switches in the wall. These are great smart switches for automating lights in your home, but if you hook them up with IFT, you can use them to control other smart home gadgets as well. For instance, if I long press on this switch here, you'll see the light flashes, and then the Nest thermostat upstairs will go to 68. That's a nice way to maybe set the thermostat as you walk out the door or as you walk in. Another IFT integration that we've tried out here that I'm a fan of is what IFT does for Amazon Echo. That's a voice activated smart speaker that can control a lot of smart home devices with voice commands, but it doesn't work with the Nest thermostat. Again, IFT can make the Nest thermostat smarter by bringing Echo into the picture. You make a recipe that says, whenever I say Alexa, set the thermostat to 68. Sending that to IFT. The thermostat goes to 68, and there you go, you've got a voice activated thermostat. The real question with all of this though, is can you use IFT in place of a system like Wink or SmartThings to kind of control all of your smart home devices in one ecosystem? I think you can if you're very picky about which devices you go with. All in all, I think IFT is a great way to introduce yourself to the concept of automation. Once you get the hang of that sort of if this then that formula, you can start to see how it might apply into your smart home.